Hey folks, welcome to B5 Bricks, hope you're all well. In today's video, it's a big mock for me, hence the lack of videos for the last few days as I've been busy finishing it off and filming and editing. Now my gorgeous wife bought me the fishing shack a few years ago as a birthday present and I can honestly say it's one of my all time favourite idea sets. The details in particular are just fab and the old rickety look with the rooftop too and of course sand green which is one of my favourite Lego colours, wow it's great. Take a closer look at this view as this is where I was getting an idea. That back part of the building on the left opens up to get into the interior and I was thinking it would be great as a boatyard instead. So that's exactly what I've done. I've tried to really only use the same parts that came with the original set but I transferred it to a blue base plate and I found I had to actually completely rebuild this from the ground up. So. I'm going to take you on a tour, starting with the exterior first. Oh hey, if you haven't subscribed then do it now and stay up to date with all my mocks and rebuilds and my Micro Gotham City build too. I've crammed in loads of details and tried to add as much originality as I could but in the constraints of using up almost all the original parts. As you can see here, I've elongated the main dock area and it fits a pretty big boat. The additional bricks I used are mostly here, there's a tan coloured extension on the left and I've used those large olive green wall panels to give it a more industrial feel but all the brickwork and masonry parts at the base are original as is the sand green tiles and the roof. The original set had this sort of wasted space to the rear and I felt a jetty would have made sense or a boat dock. This got me thinking as I've also recently rebuilt my 90s pirate ship and I wanted to use the hull for something else. So it's now a ship under construction with all these timber parts here and the scaffolding up in the middle, I think it's something quite different. Just pop these down and it fits perfectly in the dry dock with a wee ladder going down to the workshop. I've also got this additional grey scaffolding for the workers to use in construction for the rigging. A big play feature is a working overhead crane and this slides on Technic pins and it's actually the crane from an old diving ship set from 2014. I've left it open as actually a lot of yards are like this in real life and of course it makes it easier to play with. Around the front here and for easy access I've used half of the original rooftop and this new sloped black rooftop as well and it opens up smoothly to give access to all this space. I've used black slopes doubled up here to make a simple roof which is supposed to be more modern. I ended up being able to use all of the original rooftop pieces and the hinge pieces too here and this pillar can also be removed to get hands in as well. In my mind this tan section is like a more modern extension to an older building so it has a cleaner look with a modern rooftop and it's built onto this wooden decking structure. I like the contrast of the black as I didn't want to overdo it with the wooden rooftops. Now for the interior. The main dock area is pretty empty as its real purpose is for the boats to dock inside. There's that spider's web though that featured in the underneath of the original set. And you can get a better view here of the staircase up to the office. But let's take a closer look at the main workshop area and the main things I wanted to include here was plenty of timber and logs, there's tools, a saw bench, fishing equipment and in the corner was all sorts of oils and paints and a cash register as well. Space is pretty tight and I was conscious of over cluttering it but actually worktops tend to be a bit like this so it makes sense that it's all a bit jumbled. And I've got a few minifigures in here, these two fellas have the helmets with ear defenders on as they're working on the ship itself and the lassie is cutting wood on the saw. 
and I built a small version of the Snap-on tool trays. I made a few of these over the years, but never this small. I do love this build though, it looks really accurate. And there's some gas cylinders with octane colours, and he's got a bucket of water for cleaning stuff down. There's some ship related equipment here, like the all important compass and the ship's wheel. <laughs> And under the timber here in the water is some lily pads, frogs and crabs, and I've also tiled the water with trans clear pieces to give it a more finished look. The timber storage unit is a great wee build and I've tiled tan plates as wooden beams here. From above you can see how easy it is to take the main tower off and it sits on jumper plates. And this is essentially the same build as the shack, but I've added the chimney to the rooftop here though, and two clocks, but inside it's the same, which is fine. It's still got a sort of ladder to get up there. The office at the back is small, but it's much bigger than the original set, but I was struggling for space here as the crane is so big. But what I've tried to do is sort of two halves with the dock on the left and office with the workshop joined onto the right hand side and crucial for me is playability and the kids love it. It's solidly built so nothing falls off easily and everything opens up so little hands can get inside to play with the minifigs and the boat. The workshop has this tall staircase which goes into the tower and you can see the steps at the top here coming up. And this is a compact wee office for the boss here. She's got some books to read, her computer and a phone and a map. And there's also a fireplace to keep her warm and some nautical pictures on the wall. And I reused the green and tan floor tiles here. Interestingly, when I first started the channel, I rebuilt the hidden side fishing boat into a longer, more realistic build. And I made sure that I could dock this alongside this dock and it can fit inside too for repairs and already the kids have had loads of fun using it as a fishing boat dock and there's even been a shark attack. <laughs> and just quite coincidentally, the boat uses a lot of sand green too, so it fits right in with the building. And we did have a few fishing things on the edge of the workshop. One of the staff must have been setting up a rod here while they were working. <laughs> So overall, I'm really happy with the build. It's quite a substantial building and I hope it actually is quite realistic. Certainly, it's got real playability too, as my kids have demonstrated to me. The original remains a fond memory, but I'm really enjoying this new boatyard. The colors are spot on and I'm really chuffed I could get the boat's sign on the side. It looks great. The variation in colour and height is just right for me and it's been nice adding lots of detail, especially all those fab printed wooden tile pieces, they look great. And I found a good use for that pirate ship hull too. I'd love to know if you've done anything similar or if you plan to make a boatyard of your own. What do you think of the original Anton's fishing shack? Do you agree it's one of the best idea sets ever? Let me know in the comments. And hey, if you enjoyed today's video, why not subscribe to the channel and click the notifications bell too, so you don't miss a thing, especially all my videos of simple mocks, money saving tips, and my micro Gotham City update as well. And whilst you're here, why not check out some of my other videos too? And I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.